I'm a molecular biologist by training. I started out with trypanosomes in the early 90s, moved on to studying epigenetics and its role in cancer. When I was a postdoc at the Whitehead Institute, we found if we reduced the amount of DNA methylation in mice, the mice developed far fewer intestinal polyps in a mouse model than with normal levels of DNA methylation. So that really told me that DNA methylation must play a very important and key role in cancer formation. I decided at that moment to spend the rest of my career studying the role of DNA methylation and epigenetics in cancer. So my research mission is to really reveal how the molecular alterations in cells lead them to turn into cancer cells. We profile large numbers of human samples in order to understand uh, what the alterations are. And then we apply what we learn to mouse models or experimental models in cell culture to try to figure out how those alterations actually contribute to the cancer process mechanistically. We've found increasing evidence that DNA methylation and epigenetics does contribute to cancer. Now that we have a better understanding of the importance of epigenetics, we're uh, developing better tools. It started really about the mid-2000s when Illumina developed the, the first Golden Gate platform, which allowed us to look at about 1,500 sites. And that was sort of all of a sudden a, a big expansion. We have now arrays that have allowed us to interrogate hundreds of thousands of sites at the same time for DNA methylation. Uh, these technologies have greatly expanded our repertoire of tools that allow us to, to study at cancer epigenetics. One of the interesting questions I sometimes get is, should I use an infinium array? Should I use whole genome by sulfide sequencing, RBS, or a variety of other tools? It is very important to choose the right tool for your research. If you want to uh, get things done quickly and want to look at lots of, lots of samples, I would say the arrays are, are a great uh, mainstay. When you want to understand a little bit more detail about the entire genome, we go to next generation sequencing tools. And ultimately, of course, uh, what everyone is clamoring for is the ability to do very highly accurate single cell analysis of epigenomes. I expect uh, going forward that uh, Illumina will continue to surprise me with new products and, and new approaches as they have in the past. I can only say I'm very excited to see how my research capabilities will be expanded. I'm very hopeful uh, that we'll have a much more customized approach to cancer and other diseases as well in the future. I'm, I'm thrilled to be trying to push back the frontiers of our knowledge and do something about this disease. I think it's um, going to be a very exciting next decade.